Hi, this is Don again, and this is another type of chi-square problem. In this case, we're looking at a goodness of fit. And the question is about a bicycle safety organization, and they claim that fatal bicycle accidents are uniformly distributed throughout the week. Okay, that tells me that they're expecting a pattern that every day would have the same number of um, accidents as any other day in a week. And uh, they say that in this week there were 779 randomly selected fatal bicycle accidents and at alpha point one, can you reject the claim that the distribution is uniform? And again, let's go over the null and the alternative because that is important for people to uh, to get those right for goodness of fit the null is always that yes the distribution that we observe is the same as that we expect in this case it's it's uniform and the alternative is that the distribution is not the same as we expect in this case not uniform and the organization claimed that the distribution was uniform, so therefore that makes the null the uh, claim. And the first thing we need to do is determine the critical value of chi-square. Okay, I'm going to bring up StatCrunch, and we want to find our critical value of chi-square and we go into stat calculators and we look for the chi-square calculator. Um, degrees of freedom, we have seven days, seven categories. So the degrees of freedom for a test for goodness of fit, excuse me, test for goodness of fit is just the number of categories minus one, which in this case would be seven minus one would be six. So I'm going to put degrees of freedom of six. Our alpha always goes in the right tail, all of it, 0.1. And we always want a right tail test for either the goodness of fit or the uh, test for independence. So that gives us a uh, critical value of chi-square of 10.645. And let's see, is that the answer? Yes, that is the answer that they have. So the next thing we need to do is to select the correct rejection region and remember that when we're doing a chi-square, either test for independence or for goodness of fit, it's always a right tail test. And even though in this calculator it shows greater than or equal to, um, our, our tests are always significant if the standardized test statistic is greater than the critical value, in this case of 10.645. So our rejection region is anything greater than 10.645. And that is the correct answer here. And again, this person uh, chose the left tail for some reason. Again, for test for independence, test for goodness of fit, it's always a right tail test. So the next thing to do is to calculate our test statistic. Do that using, I want to reload the data into StatCrunch. So I'm going to click on our little icon, open in StatCrunch. We have our data here and for goodness of fit we need to have our expected and all we're given is, I'm going to just put it in this column here, 779 occurrences, and we need to come up with what we expect them to be. And the way I'm going to do that, uh, you could use your calculator since it's a, a uniform distribution. Logic would tell you that each of the seven days would have one seventh of this 779. But I'm going to use the data, compute, expression. And I'm going to click on Bill, and I'm going to 
double click on var variable three column, which has our seven, seven, nine, divide by seven, click OK. I'm going to label it expected, compute, and now we've got our first value, but we need that for each of the seven days. So I'm just going to select that, control C to copy it, highlight those next six cells, control V to paste it. So now we've got our expected values that we need to run the test. So we go to stat, goodness of fit, chi-square test. Our observed column is frequency. Our expected column is expected. And I'm not going to worry about the other settings on this test because we just want the basic. Click on compute. And we get a table showing our observed and expected. We get a test statistic of 2.079 and a p-value of 0.9, which tells us that we do not reject the null hypothesis. And let's just go back to our calculator, chi-square. We had 6 and 0.1 alpha was all in the right side. 10.64, our chi-square is 2, so it's over here. It is not in the rejection region, therefore that method also tells us not to reject the null hypothesis, which, as I remember, um, was the claim. So we failed to reject the null, and at the 10 percent significance we can conclude there is not enough evidence to reject the claim. Remember the null was the claim so there's not enough evidence to reject the claim that the distribution of fatal bicycle accidents throughout the week is uniform. So I hope this helps. Mm -hmm.